Hey kids, Invertical here. Welcome back to Space Haven. <laughs> All right, we're back in the game. Ah, uh, where we are is almost back to. Oops, almost back to where our little uh, ship was, I believe. It's this sector here, so it's one more jump. Yeah. One more jump. <clears throat> what I have done since last episode, apart from these crystals, which I left simply because I'd rather leave a fuel store out here, I have traded my way through here. I have looted and collected and traded a lot of resources and moved my way back here into this sector. Of the resources I was able to trade, I got a bunch of the um, super blocks. <clears throat> there was one uh, star base that had uh, like a hundred or so of them, and they had them on at a good price. So I picked up, I picked up a bunch because I need them. Believe it or not, <laughs> they're actually needed. They're needed for um, the shield. This thing requires them. If I bring up build here, it will show it. System. Targeting jammer requires three super blocks. The other thing I was able to pick up was some tech blocks. And if I can find myself here, where is my ship? There it is. I was able to build the advanced assembler, which now allows me to actually build tech blocks and energy blocks. Um, I do need to make the optronics fabricator and the electronics fabricators. I was looking on the thing and I couldn't see what allows the electronics fabricator. I do have the optomic fabricator here, but I don't see one for building the electronics. Um, if anybody knows where that is, that would be awesome. You leave a note down in the, in the, in the comments there, because I could be just missing it. Um, but I believe I'm going to need the electronics fabricator to make uh, some of these parts here. <clears throat> the good thing is, is we are well on our way to completing the research table. Now the metal refinery here, we're under part way through. I need this to be able to build some other blocks. But as you can see, some parts of the ship I still need some tech blocks and whatnot, but some parts of this ship are completed. Why is this guy clicked for draft? Oh, okay, he's not. All right. Had me concerned there. I also moved Brendan over to the manufacturing ship, the um, ill-gotten gains, because I needed somebody who had uh, industry skill and Brandon's highest trait is industry uh, because I actually ran out of power on first flight these two generators ran out of power and I had um, a whole whack of energy crystals and it was simply because nobody was just going to build the darn power thingies rods so I figured I'll bring you back in and what we'll do here because all my trades are now complete in this sector. <clears throat> what we'll do here is we will queue up for jump and head back to where that 4x4 four four was, or that 2x2 two two ship was. I love the way that no matter what happens, these guys have no inclination to move with any sort of haste. I'd rather just sit there. <clears throat> OK. 
Can we please not be interrupted by any more pirates? Or idiots or anything else until we get to this location. <laughs> there we go. Took a bit of doing, but we made it. We're going to reclaim our workshop. <clears throat> We're going to take everybody off of hyperdrive mode. <clears throat> Return to working on this ship. And working on this ship. We uh, had to go for a little bit of an travel back a little bit of backtracking here um, I needed to find a trade that had um, the components that I need these uh, what do you call them Let's see if you still have any in stock these uh, these optonic uh, optronic components um, I thought I had found them and I made a trade for some quadtronic components. I didn't realize it until uh, it was too late, but I was like, nah, well, I'm probably going to need these anyway, so I'm hanging on to them. But I got myself some optronic components. We also just finished the research on the metal fabricator, so now we're working on the optronics fabricator. So now I can refine metals. And we're going to start working on this electronics fabricator. I'm still concerned because I can't find an electronics fabricator in here. Which so, if this only makes the electronic components, then what do I have to do to manufacture the uh, the quadtronic components and the electronic components? Because I should have a manufacturer that makes these little green ones. And then a manufacturer that makes the little blue ones. And I believe the little blue ones require the green ones. And I can't find that manufacturing in my facility. No, is that what it is? No, it should be resource. I can't find it in here anywhere as far as I can tell. Um, Compost, recycler, water, water purifier, and tools. Yeah, see, it's missing. And at this point, the up and down doesn't have anything in it. Um, this is very weird. Now, I'm hoping that it is hidden in that uh, one research tree, but... I don't know where it could be otherwise. Otherwise, um, the only place I can get them is to go back to the start sector way back over here just to manufacture them. And that's not exactly something I really want to be doing. So we're just going to wait for the shuttles to finish their transfers. I've got a military alliance inbound. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to help me or not. I did purchase a handful of metal plates so I can make more of the explosive ammunition <clears throat> because I have lots of raw chemical and the materials to make explosives are basically raw chemical and plastic, if I remember correctly. Uh, metal plates, yeah, chemical and, plas and metal plates. Plastics are just chemical and carbon um, medical supplies and IV fluids are both things that need to be made, but I don't have the ability to make the fabrics. Not that it really matters, because I don't have a working medical table yet. Although, <clears throat> now that this trade's gone down, I should now see... Oops, wrong one. This one here. I should now see some of these optronic components coming in so I can actually start producing some of these tech blocks 
Um, I forgot that uh, that's what I need. Lots of. I need one for this second hyperdrive, and then I'll need uh, more to do to replace these hyperdrives with the larger one. And I'll need some when I get back to the uh, scrapyard to to finish building the solar panel system that's there. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to have enough with that one trade from the Merchant Federation because there was only half a dozen or so of them. But without resources to trade, uh, I'm basically just purchasing them and I don't want to do that if I can avoid it. So I'm going to trade these while I was waiting for more of these. And yeah, I try to do is maintain a positive balance on every trade. I'd rather earn a few pennies. Every trade goes out and it comes back with a few pennies in it. Um, <clears throat> it slowly whittles away on the total global currency because I don't know if they regenerate currency, but um, they do regenerate inventories. Some of these inventories respawn on these guys as time goes by. So theoretically, you could effectively bankrupt them. And this military craft isn't selling anything I'm interested in, although I might be able to trade some energy blocks because I'm able to manufacture those for some resources. All right, we'll just let these trades go down. What is an error? What do you mean error? Don't give me that error line of hooey. And they have finished building the first or the second um, hyperdrive now. So now I should be able to travel a lot further. I don't really, I've never really gotten above 20,000 units of mass. So carrying 32,000 or 3,200 should be fairly good. I shouldn't have any problems with that, with this ship. Um, once we return back to the scrapyard I will be replacing one of these with the actual uh, targeting jammer so <clears throat> we'll pick it up once we have returned to the scrapyard and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get into so don't go away kids we'll be right back okay we're back into the last sector where the uh, scrapyard was last parked or is was found um, they have managed to get two more solar panels up and running with the number of tech blocks that we had and they were able to get the oxygen generator built. I haven't transferred anything over here yet to start up anything but <clears throat> where we're at right now I have ordered a large grow bed and a water uh, condenser coil there. Um, of course, composter, tools, facilities, and three recyclers, uh, and a, a metals refinery, basically all your refining tools. Um, also a chemical refinery, I believe this one was. Yes, chemical refinery. Uh, and then a whole whack of... Can you not? Please, thank you. Uh, a whole whack of solar capacitors as well as a large power node because what I want to do is have uh, eventually a lot more solar panels in this ship connected to a series of solar nodes and literally just a large refining engineering area in here. Cargo comes in, it is stored, 
is held here and shipped out. I will probably do is put in sort of a pseudo uh, airlock here, you know, um, maybe move this power node just slightly or something and add, um, add a wall around this with a door in and have the vents closed on all sides so that the only air that comes in is just whatever vents in. The idea, of course, is that this area would be oxygenated. This is the crew habitat. This area is the crew workspace. I still need to put a um, before I forget, let's remember that. I need to put in a little bit more hull here. I'm going to need to move that whole assembly. Maybe what I should do is just do this. Fill that in. Fill that in like that and uh, put in a yeah we can do this we can figure this out okay uh, first I need a wall walls I want <clears throat> I want to box this off like so. I want to move this if I can, like so. And then I'll probably do is move this as well. until the toilet's moved, I think. Okay, and then we're gonna go wall there. And move this. Uh, rotate it, there we go. Move that there. And order a Spacesuit, not door. Where are you located? Uh, airlocks. Spacesuit locker, right there. Then we will also do is, once this is moved, we'll move this power node. It's going to take everything offline because everything going through that one power node right now. On. Stay with me, Kathleen. I need you to finish the job. There we go. Uh, lights are kind of on, but they'll charge up here a bit. I'm leaving these unlinked down here. Everything unlinked down here. I'm still waiting, for, of course, for uh, three more solar panels to build, which is a lot of tech blocks. Um, we're very close to this. Well, halfway to this, I guess. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, do we have got power and lights and heat? So as soon as they come back over here and finish building these doors, we'll be all set. And I think it's a matter of waiting for them to recycle some more tech scrap. No info scrap. They do have four tech blocks on this ship, so again, I don't know. It's like the ship doesn't seem to have the, the game doesn't seem to have the notion that it should transfer stuff that's needed. You know, you gotta literally manually tell it to transfer back and forth inventories, you know. Scrapyard can go to first flight. I want it to send 
Let me make ten of those. I'm sure I probably still have some scrap on here. No, I don't. Okay. I do want to transfer from ill-gotten gains all of this junk uh, to space scrap. This and this and those. Hang on to the chemicals for now. I don't know why I got these, but they can go away too. And send five ice over there. Again, this is waiting for the optonic components and the electronic energy cells. The energy cells, I thought. No, they don't get made here. Where do the energy cells get made at? I'm pretty sure that I'm missing a construction building because there's one that makes those energy cells as well. It's the same one that makes these components. I'm sure of it. It's going to be very annoying if I don't have one set of constructor things. And we're back. I have assembled as much as I can on this ship. Um, I've transferred every one of those little green uh, blocks over here, whatever they're called. The, the you know, the block that's green. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Uh, infra blocks. I pulled all of those over here. I am totally out of tech blocks, totally out of energy blocks. I don't have the stuff to build tech or energy blocks right now. Um, yeah, I need... I need a lot more of the infra blocks of all things. So <clears throat> I need to do is go back to where I have some infra blocks. So we're gonna do is order up the, um, the jumps. Oh, that is so nice. Look at that, up to 19 jumps off the ill-gotten gains now. We have to start working on getting first flight there hyperdrives as well but we're getting there slowly all right ready to go yes we're going to leave scrapyard here and away we go and we have returned to where it all began again <clears throat> going to claim this ship and now as I was with the scrapyard I was dumping everything on here uh, this ship has tons of infra scrap and uh, raw materials and basically everything so what I'm going to do before I let this get too carried away is I'm going to turn off logistics to the um, to the power generator. Oh, I still got the shuttle here. Uh, there's still a miner here that I wanted to come back and take, but you know what? I'm going to just turn the logistics off to the power generator so I don't forget to do that. And then I'm just going to transfer from the foundation base. We're going to take a load of this infra scrap. Actually, you know what I should do? Because this has the, the power on it, let's, let's do this. What we're going to do is we're going to power this up. Uh, we're going to send one of these over to Foundation Base, and we're going to power this base up. That's a good idea. Uh, we'll turn this back on, turn the logistics on, and then let's get this going. 
on recycle I believe everything is set to just auto everything so it's just gonna go on everything um, yeah they changed the, the machines there was another machine in here that did the electronics refinery but I think they might have taken that out I don't know where it is so we're gonna let this run uh, this research is almost finished I'll let them power this uh, base back up and we will get some stuff uh, refined and refinished. This makes the electronics components. Ah, they changed what made the electronic components. Uh huh. Okay, I see what they've done. Ah, the base where it all began flickers back to life. So now what we'll do is we'll hang out here for a while. Again. And I will process a whole whack of the resources that are in this base. But the foundation base, it has like a load of chemicals. So what we'll do is we'll order the transfer of these chemicals over to the base with the chemical factory on them. We'll probably pull these steel plates off of here as well and just literally let these guys go crazy on doing whatever I can with this facility. And then we'll see what we can do. So don't go away, we'll be right back. I've uh, hung out here as long as I possibly can. We're basically out of Angerium uh, crystal. I did have a couple of trade ships come by and I was able to pick up a load of uh, energy scrap but even that isn't going to yield anything substantial enough to keep me running here. Uh, I've wrote, routed the power through the uh, through the solar panel so that it goes from the generator to this relay, to the solar panel, to this relay, and then into the greenhouse, and then into the rest of the facility. And I totally cut off as much of the facility as I could that was not usable to try to salvage power as long as I can. Um, but what that means, of course, is when this runs out of power, everything starts to shut down, but I can at least keep the gardens rem uh, reasonably powered with the solar panel. Um, so we're going to just let this power itself down again. <clears throat> and while it's doing that, we will order the removal of everything that's left here. One last transfer one more time. Transfer this junk off. This those and that. And ooh, we have finished the research on a topsy table. Ooh, cannot use my tongue today. Oof. I want to do the medical bed. I don't care about the hypersleep chambers. Don't care about them. Medical bed, I need. So we're going to hit the research on that. We did finish the research on the Optronics Fabricator, and we have ordered one to be built. Now, of course, we need a lot of tech blocks, so it's not getting built anytime soon. <clears throat> after, yeah, I think after the medical bed is done, I will work on the weapons, uh, weapons console, turrets, scanner, and the item fabricator. I'm not so worried about the item fabricator because basically the only thing I'm using it for, you ever use it for, is to make a couple of firearms. Uh, I think the items that it's supposed to be able to fabricate, the inventory of your crew members, for example, let's see if I can find a crew member here real quick to show you what I mean. 
There we go. Um, as you can see, Brandon here has a primary weapon, a secondary, a pocket item, and a headgear, um, as well as the item they are currently using. Uh, my guess is the item fabricator will make the pockets, the secondary, and the headgear, as well as the firearm. So until that is actually implemented in the game making that doing that particular research for the item fabricator is really not that essential also uh, I picked up a gun firearm a new firearm from one of the trade ships and I equipped it on Jeff it is an assault rifle in my opinion one of the better guns in the game. Um, I know there's a submachine gun as well that you can make. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But this offers some pretty good kick and it fires in a fairly steady straight line at good range. Um, Kathleen still has, of course, her uh, shotgun but now my entire crew all have at least one weapon so what I'm gonna do <clears throat> I'm gonna let this run for a little second here while I get these transfers done um, there shouldn't be that much left to transfer off here these guys are hauling stuff it's really funny with this with this base they will grow plants Take it out this door, go through this room, through this door, up here, and then into the kitchen. There's a door here and a door here that goes straight to the kitchen. But for some reason, the computer pathing will not, it won't do that. Like there's a pathing uh, bug of, uh, that's kind of humorous here. Okay. Let's order for hyperjump. Of course, we always got one dingus who wants to hang out on the on the base. It's probably going to end up costing me half a forever for him to get over here. As is typical, I have to manually go and pick this idiot up. And once again, it's Carlos. shuttle isn't docked. Oh, it's just the uh, ship at the station here. Yeah, the miner and the station. Okay, we're going to jump out. We will make one more uh, visit to that station yet just to clean off whatever is left. Um, I don't think there's much left in that station. And now for the long set of jumps back. Here's the problem I'm running into. I need tech blocks. Or I need optro optronic components. I need enough of them to build tech blocks. So basically I need three or four optonic components to make the tech blocks I need to carry on with the construction. Um, I'm trying to find somebody who has them and I'm not having much success. Uh, we might actually be out of fuel here. Uh, 
it could be a problem. Okay, let's take a moment. We're going to have no choice. We're going to have to trade with these civilians at the Blue Raha. <clears throat> I need energy crystals. go we have picked up a little bit of crystals and whatnot and to continue our search for the tech blocks that we need so we're going to try again to hit some of these other the other station in this sector and possibly any other trades that we can counter this guy hanging out down here. I think this was the one we just were just at. Like that guy there, I think was the guy we just traded with up here. So let's just ignore him for the time being. Pop over here and see if these civilians have anything to say. Come on, call to New Havens. You can do it for me. You have it. Come on. <gasps> they do. Aha, right there. Look at what I see. Oh yeah, we're going to have some trading time tonight. Advert your eyes, I'm actually spending coins because I want half a dozen of these things. I also need some of this Hyperium crystal, but I'll have to make do with what I have. I need these. I need this trade to go down so that I can actually start progressing in the build. Here we go, our shuttles are doing their thing. And uh, with long last, there's the parts I need to make the tech blocks. And there we go, Carlos just made the Optronics Fabricator. Uh -huh. I can make the atomic cell and the energy cells. So these are the two things I need. Now I'm going to hold off on these until I get a little bit more energy crystal. But these I can manufacture. And the electronics components. I loaded up on electronics components when I was at the... Uh, start base here so now we can actually manufacture these if less than 10 produce these this is going to put another strain on the chemicals but that's okay we'll hit okay and this i want to say if less than five or if less than less than whatever but i think i'm just literally going to order them uh, as needed because they're needed for the energy block and I don't want to start manufacturing too many of those just yet but that gives me the ability now to literally manufacture tech blocks from scratch which completely eliminates my biggest bottleneck up to this point. Now the only other problem we have is resources. Primarily fuel resources. But that we can deal with. <clears throat> so now, one more time, we're going to make the trip back to the scrapyard there we go we're back at the scrapyard we're going to take possession of this one more time and now theoretically now we should start seeing all of the stuff coming over here that we need to build also going to order the Optronics fabricator, whoops, 
for this location as well. We have uh, hung out here as long as we possibly can and we are completely out of angerium crystals and I have done as much as I can do with this thing. Now I could move it if I had the uh, resources to put fuel in the tanks. Unfortunately I am out of fuel bubbles. Now I might be able to buy some crystals from this incoming trade ship here but I am pretty much at the point where I have to seriously consider moving on uh, and do what I can. I'm going to move this uh, reactor back one square. It's just causing a issue I guess. And we're going to dismantle these wall sections here. It's giving me this warning again that areas are not accessible. So let's see what uh, this cult of New Haven ship has to say for itself. But essentially, um, whatever energy I have in the tanks right now is it. Now, I do have a lot of solar power here. Uh, the sun is fairly good in this area. It's given me 70.9 output, so uh, I'm maintaining uh, solar energy very well here. Like this entire ship currently is powered strictly by solar. And uh, we're just basically, I'm just literally waiting to see how much more stuff I can get built because I'm still producing... Um, tech blocks and energy blocks or I'm still able to produce them to some degree I believe uh, energy blocks energy blocks require the energy cell and I think I have a few energy cells left which is why it's still producing them okay cable patch let's see if you have any crystals for me any crystals You've got a couple of warp crystals. Well, you've traded with me a few times. You're pretty much out of coins. <laughs> I'm leaving him with three coins in his purse. <clears throat> Capital Patch has traded with me a few times. And I've pretty much cleaned out his coin stocks. That is, I believe, the only thing that they don't regenerate there we go you get 35 coins back I just need some fuel cells fuel rods anything else you have that has power in it that I can use I could buy some of his hyper fuel but I'd rather buy the crystals so we'll put those two orders in um, that will keep us powered for a little bit. Um, I put the scrambler in the targeting jammer. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that there was no way to actually set it to not be used when you're under no threat. If I don't have anybody around, it doesn't matter. Somebody still jumps into this um, shields console and keeps this charged up. Um, so this is like the uh, research table. It's going to suck up one of your crew members no matter what you do. Um, so keep that in mind if you decide you want to build one. I've also put one of the better engines in to the um, first flight so it's basically I've just got these two crappy engines left in here to, to trade out. Um, probably going to have to do is relocate a little bit more of this wall. 
There we go. We can cram a second one of those hyperdrives in here. So we're going to order the dismantling of the other two. And there we have it. That's as much as I can possibly do with this thing now. Um, I have practically no fuel left, although I do have some Hyperium crystals now from the resalvaging of those engines. I don't need the Hyperium crystal anymore. The Energerium crystal isn't going to cut it that I have. I am literally out of fuel. So what we'll do is we'll go off and look for fuel. I was kind of hoping to have this thing finished to a point where I could move it, and it is. If I had hypothetically enough fuel to put some gas in the tanks, I could move it. Uh, so, thanks all for watching, kids. Hope you're enjoying Space Haven. And on the next episode, we will see about exploring some more space, moving the scrapyard once and for all off to someplace good. And maybe we'll go look at having a look at some of these other areas of space. A slaver's Guild, an uncontrolled system close to pirates, or something else down the line here. We've got a couple more systems. Um, I'm kind of thinking that I might do if we can move the ship itself because I have cleaned out everything down here um, and everything in this star system. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll move the scrapyard up into this Slaver's Guild system. Uh, we'll find a, star to, uh, a node to park at that's got Looks like we have fairly good areas here for five planets with uh, or five uh, solar systems, I guess, with uh, jump lines coming off in four directions. So that should offer some opportunity to do some serious exploring. Anyhow, that's what we'll do next episode. So thanks all for watching, kids, and good night for now.